Hey everyone, welcome to TS Academy. Hope you guys are good. So, uh, in today's video, we are going to start a new topic in macroeconomics that is budget line. So, uh, before we start, let's understand what this topic is about. A budget line is a very simple but powerful idea in economics. It basically tells us what consumer, that means any ordinary person, can buy with a limited amount of money. Every day, of all of us face a budget line in real life. We have a fixed income and different goods or services we want to buy, but we can't have any everything. Means so we have to make choices. So in this lesson, we will understand step by step what a budget line is, how we can show it on a graph, how to write its equation, how to find its slope, and what happens when income or prices change. Now. Start with the first slide, that is, what is budget line? The definition of budget line. So a budget line shows all the combination of two goods that a person can buy using their fixed income at given prices. Think of it like your shopping limit. Suppose you have $50 in your pocket. That's your total budget. So you can decide how to spend it on two items, maybe clothes and food, the budget line shows every possible way you can divide that $50 between these two things, spending it all, but not more than you have. So it also tells us which combination are affordable and which are not affordable. Anything on or below the line is possible. Anything above it is beyond your budget. So economists also call it by other names like price line, the budget constraint line, or the price income line. All these names mean the same idea. A line that limits your spending according to your income. So let's understand, uh, let's take a simple example to make this concept clearer. Imagine you have $10 to spend and these are two goods, good X and good Y. Both cost $50 each. Now, how can you spend your $10 you're going to spend all $10 on good buy, good ad, and buy two units of ad. Or you're going to spend all $10 on good buy and buy two units of buy. Or you divide your money and buy one of each. So there are three combinations you get. Like these three combinations, two, zero, zero, two, and one, one, all use your full income. So you are not overspending and you are not leaving any money unused. So if we draw these combinations on a graph, we will see a straight downward sloping line. That's your basically a budget line. So there you go. It's downward because if you decide to buy more of X, you will have less money left for Y. And if you buy more of Y, you will have to give of some like good X. So this trade-off is what the budget line shows visually. Now that we have understood the meaning and example, let's look at how the budget line appears on a graph. Imagine we draw two axes. The X axis shows good X and the Y axis shows good Y. At one end, say point E, as you can see in the diagram. The consumer spend all of their income on, on good X at point E. And at the other point, point J, the consumer spends all their money on good Y, nothing left for good X. But between these two points, we can have several other combinations like F, G, H, and I, where the person buys some of X and some of Y, sharing their money between both goods. Like if you look at point I, so here at point I, consumer spend one for good X and eight for good Y. At point H, consumer spends two for good X and six for good Y. At point G, consumer spends three for good X and four for good Y. That's how it works. So when we join all these points, E, F, G, H, I, and J, we get a straight line. That straight line is called the budget line, that is A, B. So everything under this line, that whole region, is called the budget set. 
it represents all the combinations that the consumer can afford with their given income. So in simple words, the line itself shows your limit and the area under it shows your choice within that limit. So this is our budget line. Now let's discuss some important observations from this diagram. Okay. So, uh, first no notice that the line slopes downward. Why? Because to buy uh, more of one good, you have to reduce some amount of the other. Since income is fixed, if you spend more on good X, there is less left for good Y. So, the line goes downward. Second, every point on the line means the consumer is using all their income. So they are not overspending, but they are also not saving any part of their income. So it's like they are fully utilizing their money to get the maximum satisfaction possible. Third, in consumer theory, we mostly study points on the budget line itself, not the whole area under it. That's because we assume consumers always try to get the most out of their money, not leave any unspent. So the line helps us focus on those perfect combinations where income is exactly equal to total spending. Now let's move from the graph to the mathematical form, the algebraic expression of the budget line. A budget line can be expressed with a very simple equation that is M equals to price of X into quantity of X plus price of Y into quantity of Y. Here M is the total income of the consumer, Px is the price of good X and Py is the price of good Y. Qx and Qy are the quantity bought of X and Y. So this equation just means that the total money spent on Y and X equals your total income. It's a simple balance. Whatever you earn, you spend completely across both goods. For example, if your income is $40 and each unit of X and Y cost $5, then the combination of quantity of good X and quantity of good Y that make the total equal to 40 with all lie on the budget line. So every point on that line satisfies the same condition Total spending equals total income. No more, no less. So now let's talk about the slope of the budget line, which is the very important part of this topic. The slope of budget line. The slope shows us how much of one good the consumer must give up to buy one more unit of the other good. For an example, if you want to buy one extra unit of good X, how many units of Y do you have to sacrifice? That's what this slope tells us. So mathematically, so slope equals to change in y upon change in x or delta y upon delta x. But there is another way to understand it. The slope also equals the price ratio of two goods. That is price of x in, divided by price of y. This means the slope depends on how expensive x is compared to y means if X becomes cheaper or Y becomes costlier, the slope of the line changes. So basically the slope gives us an idea of the trade-off between the two goods. How much of one must be given up to gain more of the other? So basically purely on their prices, understanding price ratio. So now, uh, that we have talked about the slope, let's understand what we mean by the price ratio in a little more detail. So, we can calculate it by dividing the price of good X by price of good Y. That is, price ratio equals to Px divided by Py. Let's take an example to make it easy. If the price of good X is $5 and the price of good Y is $10, then the price ratio is 5 divided by 10. Or if we simplify this, we get 1 divided by 2. What does that mean? It means that 1 unit of Y costs the same as 2 unit of X. So 
Y is more expensive and you would need to give up two units of X to buy one unit of Y. This ratio helps understand how the slope of budget line behaves because whenever the price of one good changes, this ratio changes and the line tilts accordingly. Now, uh, let's go over some key properties of the budget line. The first property is that the budget line always slopes downward. That's because your income is fixed. If you want to buy more of one good, you have to reduce or sacrifice the other one. So you simply can't increase both unless your income rises. The second property is that the budget line is a straight line. Why? Because the prices of the goods remain constant. The relationship between them, the price ratio doesn't change. So the slope stays the same all along the line. And the third property is that the position of the budget line depends on two things, your income and the price of two goods. If either of them changes, the line will either shift to a new position or rotate to a new angle. So these three properties make it very easy to identify how the budget line behaves in different situations. Now let's understand what happens when the budget line shifts or rotates. The budget line doesn't always stay fixed. It changes when your financial situation or the prices of goods change. In other words, the budget line moves whenever your income or the prices of goods change. There are two main possibilities. First, a change in income, meaning you either earn more or less money. Second one, a change in prices, mean, meaning one of the goods become cheaper or more expensive. So both of these situations affect how much of each good you can afford. So your budget line will move or tilt on the graph to show the new reality. So now let's talk about the first case, a change in income while the prices of the goods remains the same or constant. Here we go. Here, the condition is income changes, but the price of good X and price of good Y is constant. So, if your income increases, you can now afford to buy more of both goods. That means your budget line shifts to right from AB to A1B1. If you look at the diagram, the budget line shifts AB to A1B1 because your income increases and you buy more goods, both of goods, like good X and good Y, showing up that your buying power has gone up. On the other hand, if your income decreases, you can afford less of both goods. So your budget line shifts to the left from AB to A2, B2, meaning your purchasing power has reduced. So one important point to remember, when income changes, the line moves parallel to the origin, original one, and that's because prices haven't changed. Only income has. So the slope remains exactly the same. Now, uh, let's look at the second case when prices of good change. First, we will discuss the price of good X changes. And then we will understand the price of good Y changes and price of good Y. So look at the diagram. When the price of good X changes, while income and the price of Y stays same or constant. This is the condition. When price of good X changes, but income and price of good Y is constant. So as a result, your budget line rotates outward to the right from AB to A1B. You can now afford a greater quantity of good X. But if the price of good X this is the condition when the price of good X falls. Like if price of good X falls, so your budget line rotates outward, AB to A1B. But if the price of good X rises, your budget line rotates inward, like AB to AB, A, AB to A to B. So here's something important. The Y-axis point stays the same because the price of Y hasn't changed. So only the X axis intercept moves because the change change happened in the price of X, not price of Y. This is how it works. So now let's discuss the price of good Y changes where price of X and income constant. So if the price of Y falls, you can now 
by more of y with the same income. So the line rotates upward from AB to AB1, showing that your purchasing power for y has increased. But if the price of y rises, you can buy fewer units of y. So the line rotates downward, AB to AB2. Notice that in this case, the x-axis point uh, points stays fixed because the price of x has not changed. So again, the budget line adjusts itself according to which goods price has changed. So let's quickly review everything we have learned about the budget line in simple words. A budget line shows all possible combination of two goods that use up your entire income. It always downward sloping and straight because of limited income and constant prices. The slope of the line equals the price ratio, that is price of X divided by price of Y. Points inside the line mean you are spending less than your income. You could buy more. Points outside the line mean you can't afford those combinations. When income changes, the line or the budget line shifts parallel to the old one. When price changes, the budget line always rotates. So overall, the budget line is just a clear and simple way to show the choices a consumer can make with their limited income and trade off between two goods. So, and that's the complete explanation of budget line from its meaning to its equation, slope, and the different way it shifts when income or price changes. I hope this explanation helps you understand the topic clearly and in, in a simple way. If you enjoyed learning from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to TH Academy so we can keep bringing you more easy and clear lessons in economics and other subjects as well. So thank you for watching and keep learning. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.